Hey everybody, uh, me and a buddy of mine went to a gun store today in the next county over. Probably about one of the best ones that's, that's kind of local. And uh, well by the name of this video you already know what I bought. I picked up a brand new little Caltech PF9. Let's give her a look. Now I'm not much of a reviewer, I'm more of a shooter. So there it is. Tell me your manual and uh, whatever. Different base plate, trigger lock, all that stuff. But I want to give this little pistol a try. I've been wanting a small, real thin 9mm for a long time. And uh, I really like the price. That's one of the things that drew me to it. Um, I've got the little Keltec 380 that you, some of you seen in other videos. And I tell you, this thing is really light. Really light empty there's no uh, ammo in it and it's got a it's not really a heavy trigger it's a long trigger let me show you what I mean you got to kind of stage it you got to pull it back to about right there see how that is and about right there then it's going to snap just like the just like the 380 from what I read and, and I've seen they took the trigger out of the the, the little Keltec, was it the P3AT? It's the same trigger that's that's in this one. They didn't take it out of the P11. I had a P a Ruger P11 uh, a couple of years ago, and man, that trigger was it's pretty tough. But this one's going to be a whole lot smoother because I'm already used to the Ruger or the Ruger the Keltec uh, 380. Let me put this up just for a second, and I'll show you. Here's the 380. It's empty also. I'll show you the size comparison. Here's his little brother. Let's see. Set them both down. About right there. Get them even in the back. Now, that uh, PF9 really isn't that much bigger. Considering you know, it shoots the 9mm round, it shoots 380. Of course, this is tiny. I mean, this is a tiny little gun. And I enjoy it. I pack it sometimes, you know, just throw it in your pocket. But uh, this one's going <clears> to <throat> be a primary uh, carry, you know, after I shoot it about at least 200 times to make sure it's going to function correctly and, you know, and uh, and everything. Uh, I've always heard these little Keltecs, you know, take some breaking in. Like you might get a couple of uh, jams or whatever the first hundred rounds, so I'm looking. For, I'm 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 looking to that. I'm looking forward to that to see if it's going to happen or not. This one never did. I've had, I've got about 200 rounds through it so far, and it's not it's not messed up in any shape or form or anything. But to give you another comparison of how small this really is, uh, I brought out the XD subcompact nine millimeter, and here it is. And he had a whole lot of FaceTime here on, on my channel. I'll get to it one of these days. But here's the difference in these two guys, which is quite a bit. First of all, look how much thicker the XD is. The XD's over here. And uh, the XD's just a tad bit longer. Not much. But it's a, it's thicker and it's, uh, it's much, much heavier. Much heavier gun. This one is also course empty this has been this is a really I, mean, I love the XD line of, uh, of guns and I'm gonna try out the PF9 now the, the Caltech so I've got three nine millimeters now I've got these two and I've got a little Taurus revolver nine millimeter and uh, I thought well I want to start shooting some nine millimeter I need some more ammo so if I can get this big boy over here oh god <laughs> I bought a case of 9mm ammo today. That's a thousand rounds. So we're going to have some fun. This is the uh, RWS brand. I'll show it to you. It's made in Switzerland. It's brass cased with a 124 grain bullet in it. You know, most of your 9mm are 115 grain. 
This is 124. It's a little heavier. Probably a little bit more kick to it, I guess. Probably not much. But I went ahead and bought a thousand rounds of it today. You guys can see all the other night. There you go. Beautiful. That's a beautiful sight. Mm. I've got a few hundred in there and safe, but I want to go ahead and get this. So I know I wouldn't run out for a while. So I had a pretty good day at the gun shop. I didn't do no vlog for it. I'm just not a vlogger. Anyway, there's a new purchase. Keltec PF9. And uh, I'll, I'll get a video of shooting it probably sometime early next week. I won't really won't have time this weekend to do it. But just want to show you guys. And I don't think I'm leaving anything out. Oh, uh, this was, man, I tell you, the gun shop I went to today is great. This little gun here was uh, before tax, about 250 bucks. 250 for a brand new gun. So, and this here was it was it was a pretty good price too. A thousand rounds for before tax, a little over 200 dollars. Thousand rounds of that stuff. We gonna have some fun, guys and girls. Well, there it is, Caltech PF9, Caltech P. What is this? The PET P3AT. P3AT is a 9 millimeter or 380. And here's the XD subcompact 9 millimeter. I didn't bring out the Taurus revolver. He's in there dirty. He needs to be clean. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and look for a video of uh, wearing this thing out here pretty soon. <laughs> See you, everybody.